guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm at SeaWorld Orlando. You can see um, Mako behind me, and then this is the whole front area of the park. Alright guys, so I just got my pass. I'm going to head up right over here. It is relatively crowded today, but it is a summer day, and in um, Electric Ocean is tonight, which is a cool show. That's basically why I'm filming. So right there is a sign for Infinity Falls, the new um, dropped raft, drop raft ride, and I'm super excited for that. It was made by Intamin, and um, should be opening this summer. It got, a, got redone recently. Here's one right here. I'm here at Under the Sun store, and it goes backs up into like three or two different stores. They got some pretty cool SeaWorld stuff in here. So I got some cups, eleven dollars, uh, bottles. Um, see how much these are. Wow, this is heavy. It's thirteen dollars. So it's a little bit more than a cup. Flags. Okay, that's not for sale. All right. Um, frames, shot glasses, shirts. This is a pretty cool shirt. It gives you a description about killer whales, and that's twenty-two dollars. They have a ton of more SeaWorld attire over there. And this is all 2018 stuff, and I want that blanket pretty bad. So this blanket looks like the orcas, and yeah, just the orcas playing with some fish. I'm not sure how much this is. Yeah, I'll have to say that's probably like $20. We're gonna walk right over here. It's more of the RC section of the store. So, like right here. I know they had some of these in the Adventure Island store, but like the glass animals but that is awesome it's a candle holder it's a squid wearing a helmet I've got a lot of squid martini glass it's pretty cool you guys can tell I'm being very quiet right now and that's for two reasons first of all in a store and second of all I don't want to bother Everyone else when they're trying to look because I've been here a million times and I know all this. But right behind me, this looks like from the Busch Gardens Brew Club, which just opened. Like there's some nice, looks German beer glasses. I'm gonna stop it for a second just so I can switch the camera. Shot that I was in just down there extends all the way to right there to that little tiny door. I'm gonna go through this. All right, so now we're in the Roxy shop, and I think yeah, they all connect from right over there. Continue down through this store, which is more of like a kid's store and candy and jewelry and mermaid towels So this is the sky tower. It's like directly in the middle of the park and you ride like a two-story thing all the way to the top You can see all of Orlando, but usually it's it included with the past But they changed it so now three dollars a person. So if you want to go on it bring three dollars okay, There's Shark Reef right there. We're gonna be back here later. Fun fact. That's the filming locations of Jaws 3 um, also like way far away at the stingrays and then right there is Mako and we're gonna be going on that next. Alrighty guys I'm going into Mako right now. Sorry. And it's only 15 minute wait. Usually on a day like this that's not really that crowded. Uh, the line starts back here. But um no the line's still still no line for us and this is the coolest part of the line queue. It's not really AC but it feels real nice under here. There's some people behind us, so I gotta go. In this ride, you are the Mako. See that? Mako. So, guys, we're right here. Road 3. And there's our cart on its way. Okay, guys, we just finished Mako. Very short line. Not sure where our picture is. No. Uh, not, not sure where it's at. Um. Well, alrighty then. Is it going up? There we go, I found me. I don't usually make that face, but my eyes were closed. I'm back for my second time, and then I'm gonna go see the bubble show after this. Deja vu all over again. Alright, we're in the back row this time. We are right there. Face of the century. Picture of the century right there. In this. Hey guys, we are now at Pop the Bubble Show. It starts at 5 and it's 4.10, so we're gonna get some early seats, but um... 
I'm not gonna tell you what it is now, I'm just gonna film it and you'll see you later. Okay, so they just opened opened the doors and now we're in this massive theater on the third row. It's pretty cool. the bubble show is a pretty awesome show and I want to show you the cart for Infinity Falls so this is all inflatable so the whole thing's inflatable except the part you're sitting in but it's really not that big so if we zoom out a little and focus it see not that big all right here guys we're at the shark reef now this is where some of Jaws 3 was filmed in that building right over there and I'll be in there in one second but look at the leopard sharks they got Nurse sharks, those are not nurse sharks. Not sure what those are. Stingrays, fish. This whole area was uh, um, underground caverns, or not underground caverns. These were supposed to be under um, like the lagoon. And then um, Jaws was seen these areas. They found the body right there. A whole bunch of scary stuff happened. Well, bam, the shark died. Okay, guys, we're in the shark tunnel right now. Shark. Okay, there's a saw. Saw no shark, I think, right there. Shellfish. There's a shark over there. There's a shark. That's just a poor fish. It's like, save me. All right, we just made it to Antarctica. I'm not sure if we're gonna see the penguins, and we might just be passing through, but that might change. All right, guys, I'm about to get on a journey through Atlantis. Uh, I'm not sure how long the ride is, but you can already hear some of the electric ocean music. So. It's half roller coaster, half water ride, half indoor, half outdoor, few animatronics. And you don't get soaked. Like, those people didn't really get wet. But the view with the cannons over here at my concern. Alright, guys, so we didn't run Journey to Atlantis because it was our wheat. But we still can go up to the gift shop and there's a cool aquarium over there. So there are actually some fish on there. So it's a Hey! Hey! And this is the coolest thing I've been in at SeaWorld jellyfish. Another tank. And then there's one right there for yellowfish. And here's the tank with the eels. Four times of fury. Hats, bags, cups, and picture frames. So it's a fury is Kraken, Manta, Mago, and Journey to Atlantis. Um, so that's pretty cool. Bush Gardens has like the seven times fury because they have more coasters there. But I really want this hat and the adult the adult hat is upside down. $24. So this hat is $24 right here. And I'm guessing the kids one. They don't have a kids one. But if they do have a kids one, it's probably gonna be the same place. So guys there's a pretty drastic change in weather. It was just nice and sunny and now it's stormy. Hey guys, so it's storming outside and it's 32 degrees in here and I'm cold and I'm wet. Look at that little guy. Look, it's afternoon. He's the little blub. Hey, buddy. I have to walk over to the water. If I don't freeze. <laughs> so here we go. Here are the here are the penguins. Actually, sorry. sorry. In the 
and we just walked through because the ride is down right now. We were in those vehicles, like do a little storyline. It's it's okay. So guys, so it just stopped raining, and right now we're ne right next to um, future site of Infinity Falls. Let me get over this wall, and I can actually show you the drop. There it is, the vertical drop right there. It's gonna be fun. It's the biggest one on this type of ride. Not like a biggest drop anywhere. That would be insane because that's like 50 feet high. But when you're on a huge rack like this, it's pretty hard to get a good drop in. So that's pretty big. Some whales right here, but these are not um, not uh, orcas. They're they're blues. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's not orca. Huh. Weird looking. change in the weather and it's sunny again and there was like a drastic change of like feeling in the park so now it's more electric oceany like there's a dance party going on and at 8 45 like in an hour the uh, show actually starts and that's gonna be pretty cool to watch so guys this is the dance floor right here this is the um lakeside stadium and that's where the electric ocean is actually going to take place right like those are all the fountains and pyrotechnics right there Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Um, it was pretty cool being able to come out here. Uh, Electric Oceans did get canceled, seriously, last minute. And it was so cool meeting um, Brian from Inside Universal. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I will have an um, Electric Oceans video up soon.